Yo, the Bourbon Doctors. We're the Bourbon I'm Doctors. I'm Chad. This is Albert. That's and Albert has a promotion. It's it's really all about you. It's we a promotion. Are coming, we're coming up on a year, y'all. We've been doing this crazy stuff for a year, and we're creeping we've learned up, a lot. We've creeping up on a thousand subscribers, like seven something right now. But we want to get to that thousand. Here's one way. One of the ways I thought we could do it. We're gonna pay back our subscribers. If they're number thousand or just no, just, just whoever. Them. Like right. we gotta we gotta support the people who have been with us from the from the jump. So. From Here's how jump. from the jump, yo. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, for those of you who've been with us, for those of you who are new to us, if you are a subscriber, throw in a comment. 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 Bourbon is for drinking, and I want the money. And show me the money. There you go. Bourbon is for drinking. Show me the money. We will select one of Do you. The Jerry Maguire thing. We will select one of you. And we're going to give you a $100 gift card to one of the online liquor stores to buy your bourbon of your choice. So it's $400. We are going to select it randomly it's from this. It's for a hundred dollars. You said four hundred. No, we ain't giving you four hundred dollars. Yo, what are we crazy? We're giving, we're someone giving is getting a hundred dollars. Someone, someone is getting a hundred dollars. We will. We'll do it live, right? Once we get all the subscribers sure. to throw in their comments, we'll compile it, it all. We'll do it. In, well, it won't be live. It'll be live to us. It won't be live to you. But we will do it on one of our episodes. We, we will randomly it. select one of you to get our hundred dollar gift card for being a subscriber for us to say. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome to the Bourbon Doctors. I'm Chad. This is Albert. And this is your idea. Sort of. Yeah. I don't, is it an original idea? No. No. I didn't know if it was original. It's or not. Or not. It's not original? We've talked about this in previous episodes. It's the theory of the neck pour, of the bottle opening up, of it, of it, you know, you pour a little off so that the air can get to it and it oxidizes. Which I think is complete. BS. It's bullshit. BS. It's BS. There's no yeah, oxidation. It's a bunch of nonsense. It's a bunch of nonsense. But we got to prove it. We got to prove How it. How are you going to prove it to me? Well, so I have been sitting on these bottles of Old Forester uh, for about a month. And I know you a month is... literally sat on them or you... Yeah, I mean, you know, they're, they're it's you not didn't... so comfortable, but they warm, you warm up you to it after a while. You literally sat on them. Yeah, you can, you can try it out later. Right. Um, I bought them no, at the same time from the same them. place... And I opened one, poured a whole bunch of it out. Don't worry. It didn't Which go one? to waste. Oh, this one. And then I kept one unopened. And, you know, I, I I do think that there's something to a bottle. It does The flavor does change. change maybe it changes. Maybe it's placebo. We're going to find out. There's today. some people that say when it gets down really low, just finish Th- Then it. you just got to finish it and throw yeah, it away. Because like, you don't want to leave it goes like, bad. that last little bit. Yeah. But I don't know. The last, last little bit. What's wrong with the last little bit? Uh, well, it depends. Nothing wrong with that. So I will say I've done I've done a little bit of internet research, background looking, right? And and you know we looked at there are a couple great sites out there that go over the science of this stuff. But let's test it out for ourselves. We're gonna blind taste test. So we're gonna have a new bottle unopened. New versus unopened. This one. How long has it's, it been open? It's been open a month. Okay. All right. So is a month enough? I don't know. Some of you all like think. Just like open it up and let it air in the room for an hour or two, and it's better. It's a lot of wine. Some people say I yeah. have wine. I've well, heard that, but I let it breathe. Yeah, you gotta like, you gotta let the bottle breathe. What the hell are we it's gonna about? oxidize. The oxygen in the bottle is gonna do something. Yeah, I don't. I don't so buy both of us have an opinion, right? Your opinion is is it's, it's BS. BS. Yeah. I think it's BS. We're gonna try it right now, and, and figure it out. then after we're all done. We'll go into the science a little bit. A little bit. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. All right, let's do it. Okay. Go! So we're back. We got some blinded bourbon. Go! It's, this is... My hypothesis is they're going to taste exactly the same. That's what I think, too. But we've said that before. When, when did we... Yeah, we've been surprised There was one that we said that, and we were very surprised because one was clearly different and better. Uh, uh, we thought that with the Elijah Craig barrel proofs that they yeah, were all going to taste the same, but they, they did not. All... They didn't. Um, so this this should, and and Old Forester One Hundred is a nice, just good sipping bourbon too. It's 
I haven't had Old Forester 100 in a while. It's consistent. It's consistently good. I like it. But it's it not, is. to me, it's not always a go-to, you know what I mean? No, I, I think it's underutilized, to be perfectly honest. I agree. Uh, but at this point, when you're, you know, we get, when you got lots to choose from, I rarely go back to the same. That's how I know I have a bottle that I really like, because I have all these bottles, and I keep going back to one of them. Which one? I finished off the Bardstown 6 today. That's a good one. Discovery. Yeah. I meant to go on. Well, we shouldn't even talk about that. We should keep it. So one's a, one's a nice a nice sip. I was trying to think of other ways we could do this one. Hmm. Uh, they taste the same to me. I don't know about you. Um, I thought about other ways. Could we take one bottle... And pour it immediately into small bottles that had either no air or some air. I thought that was another way to do it. How are you going to get a bottle with no air? How do you do that? Believe it or not, they make vacuum devices to suck the air out of these. It's crazy. It's crazy what some of these whiskey drinkers will do. Why don't you just drink it? That's mm. what I would say. That is what it's for. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm going to take this opportunity to point out we have new merch. I don't want to be he that is. guy. I don't want to be that guy that's always like, hey, this is our merch. Take out our merch. But if you want, right? No pressure. Go to our website. Go to our website. There's merch there. And it asks, it answers all, I notice it answers all those frequently asked questions about us. It does, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> there are not very many. No one really cares about us. <laughs> there are, um, our frequently asked questions are not on. Yeah, it's very frequent. No. Um, I cannot tell a distinct difference from these two. Can you? Do you take, do you, do you the do one on my right. Is sweeter. I'm getting a sweeter taste on the one on my right. I don't know which one that is. It just tastes a little sweeter. I, I, I would not say they're identical, but they're not that far off. And maybe I'm just, I don't know. I, I don't either. And that's the thing. I think they taste very similar. I'm not picking up a huge difference between either one. Um, I, now that even looking for the sweetness, I'll double check. Maybe. No, and I and think, maybe I'm just looking. You know what I mean? Like, you're, yeah, so that there's part of it too, right? The placebo effect of all of this. And for those of you that mm, don't know, it's, I still think one. Uh, this one, this one just tastes tastes sweeter. sweeter to you? Me. Well. Whatever one it is, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'll get the number and I'll tell you. You can tell me which one this is. All right, one. Which which one's one? One is the opened bottle. Okay. I thought it was a little sweeter. I don't know. I so, I found no appreciable difference. Now here's where we'll go <laughs> going to the science of this. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Albert Harris, the science guy. Well, I'm just, I, looked, I looked some stuff up. So I looked, and uh, there was a guy, and I'll, I'll put his that name. That makes you a science guy. No. You stuff up. No, no, no. I read a blog. <laughs> I read a blog. I read it. I know, I know, now I know. you're a scientist. Right. But the guy who wrote the blog. <laughs> we are. Actually, I'm a, I'm a science We're both major. scientists, jackass. Uh, we have MD after our name. Uh, but That doesn't make you a scientist. The guy that wrote the blog uh, has his PhD in chemistry. Okay. They ran things through a, sounds like a scientist. mass spectrometer. <laughs> okay, so for for those of you the, again non science majors, non science people, uh, this mass spectrometer it's a gas spectrography mass uh, or a gas chromography is that what it is? Chromography, chromogram. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it basically it bakes it down to the molecular level and sees what the different molecules are in each thing. They took a single bottle of I believe it was Weller. Mm -hmm. And did this thing where they poured it into a airtight glass jar mm -hmm. that was full and one that was empty, and then they tested it out over several months they to a full year. Same shit. No difference yeah. on the in the chemical composition of the bourbon. Which, again, if you even think about it from a common sense standpoint, if you think exposing this much the bourbon to this much air, dude. The 12 years or four years or eight years, however Seven long they, barrel. 
aged this Minimum bourbon. Minimum four. Yeah, in a barrel, there's air that goes through the barrel. Mm-hmm. So you think opening it up for a couple weeks or a month to, to let it... Plus it's in glass now, which would be more airtight than probably the barrel. Yeah, more to airtight than the barrel. So there's less air getting to it now. It's not the oxid- oxidation. Now, there is some, some thought, even though they are exactly the same on the mass spec, the alcohol content will slowly diminish because the alcohol will evaporate off. The more space you have available for the alcohol to evaporate off. Maybe I'm a scientist. Maybe you are. Didn't we just establish this? Maybe. Maybe. Um, So the more air you have available for the alcohol to evaporate off, the more it will evaporate off. So over time, you actually lose a little bit of proof. Hmm. And, And... as the proof changes, Does that make it sweeter. Does it... I, I don't know, but some of the flavor compounds it be will become sweeter. less soluble over time. So there is some science to letting What's your our take home alcohol on this? breathe. Let's, let's let's cut this. What's our take home on this? Um, it doesn't really matter that much. It doesn't you matter think it that does, much. Either you have a way more refined palate than any of us than the mass spectrometer, or you're full of shit. <laughs> I think the placebo effect, we've mentioned it multiple times, I think it's a placebo effect for the most part. Um, well, what do you think about all these knuckleheads that talk about the neck pull? I'm not, I shouldn't call them knuckleheads. No, but them. but it's the same. It's the same. We just had a neck pull. We just right? had a neck pull. It tasted fine. Yeah. Let's be real. It tasted fine. Come on. Um, yeah, again, the amount of oxygen, if, if we're using air or oxygen as our thing that changes it up makes the bourbon taste different no that's not that's not a thing y'all what if you put it on bipap oh god now you're gonna explain (laughs) bipap to the people um yeah it's not a thing it's mostly placebo um the the proof thing was something that i learned in doing all this i was like oh the proof changes a little bit so it's like the equivalent change a whole lot can't change, but but it's the same as like adding a drop of water to it, right? It's changing the proof. Yeah. So maybe that's what we're tasting. Maybe it opened it up. Clearly, it opened <laughs> it up. But uh, at least according to the mass spectrometer, you opened it up like a month ago and poured a bunch out. Which I did. Is, did you drink it or did you pour it? Oh, out? I have it. It's. I didn't. I mean, I drink. I, I drank say, some you of didn't it. Pour it. Out. I didn't pour it down the drain. Let's be. Nobody uh, does no. that. You know yeah. why? It's good. Because bourbon is for drinking. Way to end it. Like, comment, subscribe.